Hello and welcome to Get Writing. I'm Dr. Stavros Halvatsis and today I want to talk to you about how to craft effective exposition. One of the most difficult things to do well in a story is to deploy exposition and have it remain invisible so as not to slow the story down. Exposition is essential information audiences or readers need to have in order to make sense of the story. The usual way to do this is through dialogue, preferably through subtext, but sometimes subtext is too subtle a technique to carry a really heavy load of information. Dramatizing exposition through character, dialogue and action is a more robust way to do it. In Quentin Tarantino's fanciful Second World War drama, Inglorious Bastards, Colonel Hans Lunder has a reputation for brutality and ruthlessness. This information is essential to building him up as a fearsome Nazi antagonist, but how to do it without making the exposition seem obvious? Colonel Lunder arrives at Monsieur Le Petit's house in the French countryside in search of the Dreyfuses, a Jewish family who he suspects is being sheltered in the area. Est-ce la propriété de Perrier Lapadite Je suis Perrier Lapadite. C'est un plaisir de vous rencontrer, Monsieur Lapadite. Je suis le colonel SS Hans Landa. The audience soon learns that Lapadite is indeed hiding the family at his house under the floorboards, and this creates unbearable tension throughout the scene. Landa's excessive politeness does little to allay Lapadite's apprehension. Monsieur, à votre famille et à vos vaches. Tarantino's use of exposition during Lapidite's interrogation is nothing short of masterful. Lander asks the reluctant Lapidite to tell him what he knows about Lander's own background, his reputation amongst the villagers. Are you aware of the job I've been ordered to carry out in France? Yes. Lander continues to press Lapidite on the gossip. Please tell me what you've heard. I've heard that the Führer has put you in charge of running up the Jews left in France. Lander is really enjoying making Lapidite squirm. Monsieur Lapidite, are you aware of the nickname the people of France have given me? His pride and enjoyment in his job is horrifying. Yeah, they call you the Jew hunter. Precisely. The exposition in the scene reveals much about Lander's character. He's a cunning interrogator entrusted by the Führer himself to ferret out Jewish families hiding in France. The Dreyfuses. Somewhere in the last year it would appear they've vanished. Which leads me to the conclusion that they've either made good their escape or someone is very successfully hiding them. You're sheltering enemies of the state, are you not? Yes. So to sum up, Tarantino accomplishes several things in this exposition scene. He distracts us from the fact that he's spoon-feeding us information by wrapping it up in emotion. He establishes Lunder's formidable reputation as the Führer's evil henchman. And finally, by presenting Lunder as a seemingly cultured man, Tarantino renders Lunder's order to machine-gun the Jewish family under the floorboards all the more shocking. <laughs> Exposition, then, should do more than just provide essential information. It should deepen character, dramatize the plot, propel the story forward, all the while remaining invisible to readers and audiences. Well, I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, consider subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any future videos.